It is Friday. We have made it to the weekend. Oh my gosh! And I was just saying how beautiful the sky was earlier today. How blue it was! Yeah, it was, it was crisp, so right? Yeah, it was so crisp. The air was so dry you could literally see all the way out this morning. Basically, yeah. uh, I saw a couple of planes taking off, and I was able to basically see the underbelly of the plane because the air was that dry. Wow! wow. I also had to stay hydrated and drink uh, several gallons of water, yeah. basically too. It's chilly out there, but even right now, it's beautiful behind us. It yeah. is, but those cloudy <laughs> skies are starting to filter back in, and that will signal the arrival of our next weather maker. So this. This is the calm before the storm. Just to go back to that remark that Monica made about the air being so dry, our dew points actually measure the moisture or the lack thereof in the atmosphere. The dew point right now is zero. And check it out. Our dew points will really rock it and ramp up through the overnight and into tomorrow. Right now, they're desert dry, zero to maybe 10 degrees. And then by this time tomorrow, we'll have dew points closer to the 40s, almost 50 degrees. So that shows you the swing in the moisture that we'll have in the atmosphere. And even though it's not on the highest end of the scale with the humidity, it will certainly be moist tomorrow with rounds of rainfall. Heaviest, I think, in the afternoon time frame. Tricky travel at best Saturday evening. However, if you were thinking of driving from southern New England to northern New England, maybe you're trying to get to some of the ski and snow resorts, maybe that last little bit of spring snow, you want to do it either tonight, like right now, or later tomorrow afternoon after the storm clears. If you're driving through in the middle of the morning tomorrow, it will not be easy, specifically through some of these zones of Vermont and New Hampshire. They're just going to get clobbered with 6 to maybe 16 inches of snowfall. Gusty winds at the coast, breezy across the interior. Heaven, heavy mountain snow is likely river and also drainage flooding possible as well just because of the rounds of moisture that we've got coming through in the saturated ground that we already have. So these are the two branches of the system, one to the north with the cold core, one to the south with ample moisture and the warmth too. And both of those will combine on top of us to bring us a much larger storm at play. Right now, perhaps some flurries flying through Brattleboro and also south central portions of New Hampshire. I don't, actually don't think a lot of that is making it down towards the ground because it's so dry. But we get to early tomorrow morning, now 7 o'clock, scattered rain showers for southern New England, the south shore and on Cape Cod. Across portions of the north shore, maybe some uh, grapple mixed in through Cape Ann and even central Massachusetts too. Some sleet very likely but then by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, that warmer air continues to move through. I, this is why I think we're scattered in the morning. So if you've got long runs or maybe you're trying to walk the dog, it's going to be raining, but it's not the worst of the rain. The worst of the rain now arrives. This is in the afternoon and evening time frame. Widespread torrential downpours now and heavy, heavy rain coming through with occasional thunderstorms now at about 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock at night. So you certainly want to make uh, uh, note of that. If you've got, if you just have to be outside tomorrow, it's early in the day. If you can wait, wait until Sunday, two to three inches of rainfall coming down the line between tomorrow morning and tomorrow night. We just talked about how that was basically half a month's worth of rainfall in one day's time. This will also lead to some spot, uh, some spots of river runoff flooding, also creeks and streams that are flowing out of their banks because we are super saturated on the ground. And if that weren't enough, everyone's getting a little bit of something that with this winter weather alerts have been posted to for central Massachusetts winter weather advisories just for the mix of rain and snow, not very likely to accumulate in terms of snowfall. That stretches across the Merrimack River Valley and then across much of Vermont and New Hampshire. Also winter storm warnings. After that, we get back into the mode of spring highs in the 50s for next Thursday and Friday as we round out the month of March going into Easter weekend.